And now I'd like to move it on to one of our owners to start, Ron Winchell, big name in thoroughbred racing, has roots here in Kentucky because of that, and is involved with the ownership, the new ownership of Kentucky Downs. Turn it over to Ron for some brief comments. Thank you. Uh, once again, welcome everyone. Uh, I'm gonna say on behalf of uh, the new ownership group, myself and Mark Falcone, that when we embarked on this uh, acquisition in March, we really looked at Kentucky Downs as making it bigger, better. And when I say bigger and better, I mean bigger, better from top to bottom. And today uh, marks that day when we start that process to make it bigger and better. Uh, we're also looking at adding about 20% jobs to the current workforce of Kentucky Downs. Uh, we feel like this is all a very big positive impact uh, for Kentucky Downs, for the city of Franklin, and the state of Kentucky. So, uh, on behalf of the ownership group, we're very excited to get this going. And I uh, wanted to also say thank you to the city of Franklin, because without their support, uh, we wouldn't be able to stand here today with this uh, expansion process going on. So, thank you. Thanks, Ron. Just a couple things to add. As, as Ron mentioned, this really embarks on the next phase of growth for Kentucky Downs. We're quite excited about what we've got planned, and. Over the next several months, you'll start to see steel come out of the ground and be some exciting things that more visual pictures we'll be able to share with you in the community. But I think most important, we need to also thank all, all of our local partners, all the support organizations in Simpson County, in the city of Franklin. Uh, equally as important is thanking our employees, uh, all the hardworking employees at Kentucky Downs who deliver first quality service uh, and um, execution every day expanded hours that just started in january so we've got a lot of great things and a lot of great employees here that we're proud to have and, and look forward to uh, continue to grow that workforce as as ron pointed out but we want to say thank you to our general manager uh, ted nicholson and the rest of his executive team uh, most of which you uh, all know very well so uh, we look forward to uh, as ron said the next phase and um, we're excited to see what the future brings beyond that Steve, you want to rejoin me? I'd like to present Mayor Larry Dixon from the City of Franklin for a few words. I would just like to echo a few of the comments that have already been made here today. This is a this is a great event for Franklin and Simpson County. This is a huge event, and uh, Kentucky Downs being here uh, will bring lots of uh, lots of people to downtown to this area and i know that some of our shopping our shops downtown this past summer have already commented about the horse races that were the live horse racing how many people that came to downtown and shop so we are we're excited about this huge adventure for uh, kentucky downs and uh, we uh, we want to be of support and help to you in any way that we can and no where we are and call on us when we can be a cup to you. And again, we welcome you and this is a great event and uh, we look forward to seeing it go forward and, and, and come, come, coming up to, to uh, what it's gonna be. Thank you. All right, as the mayor said, this is an exciting day and an exciting time. Uh, I had the privilege of being at the planning and zoning uh, meeting where the uh, project was presented and they had these virtual reality goggles and I put those on. I nearly run over a few people walking around the facility, but I, I can only imagine as impressive as that was walking around, looking through the virtual reality, how awesome this facility is going to be. And I want to say to you, Ron and you, Mark, we really appreciate the investment that you're making here in Franklin and Simpson County. And if there's anything at all that we can do to help you, we'll be glad to help you in any way. You know, Kentucky Downs, uh, year in and year out, and, I, and this is just my estimation, there's no statistical data that I'm using for this, but I think that they are one of, if not the largest uh, draw for tourism in Simpson County, and we really appreciate that. And uh, it's been 11 months coming, it's my first year as judge executive, this will be my first groundbreaking, and I'm honored that it's here at Kentucky Downs with you guys. We appreciate y'all and what you're doing. One. 
took over in March, you know, we looked at this as a huge opportunity, big growth opportunity. If you look at what's been going on here in the last, I don't know, five, seven years, it's really just been exploding in growth. And so we looked at it like, look, we can we can come in here, secure this uh, property and build into a bigger, better entertainment facility. And so that's basically that's what we've been looking at. And today was the culmination of that, starting the process. We're going to make it bigger and better, like I said earlier, from top to bottom. Uh, so when you come in here a year from now, it's not going to look like the Kentucky Downs you're used to from uh, the last couple years. It'll look like a totally different product. Break down those details for us. What consists of the expansion and the renovation? Uh, well, basically we're bringing, uh, bringing more amenities uh, from a food and beverage perspective. You'll have uh, a couple new restaurants, so with some more options. You're going to also be looking at uh, expanded, you know, we're looking at probably 18 to 20,000 square feet of expanded building that you see behind us. Uh, that's going to be you know, more up to date and a you know, better, more comfortable feel. It's just going to be a better experience overall for guests. So when they walk in the door, they're going to have a, an elevated experience from what you have today from the aesthetics perspective. To provide this in this region, this part of the state, tapping into this region and also down into Tennessee, um, what do you see as the vision of growing this and expanding this and really making this a destination? Well, I mean, you know, what you see today is the proximity here where it's located, right, you know, right outside of Nashville. Nashville, we can't, can't you, know, you don't have to do any explanation of the Nashville, it's exploding. So we're really kind of, this plays off of that and we're kind of uh, looking at adding to it in the destination, making an entertainment spot, you know, 35, 40 minutes outside of Nashville. Is, you know, great strategic location. And to offer new jobs with this, about 300 new jobs with the expansion and renovation, what's that like? Well, the, you know, the new jobs, we're going to probably add about 20% to the current workforce. Obviously, construction, there's significant construction jobs. And so we're, we're very excited. I think, you know, excited for Kentucky Downs, excited for the city of Franklin. You know, we feel like it's a you know, big, positive impact for the city, the state, and everybody involved. I think it's important first... You know, Kentucky Downs has had a great history here, uh, going back to when it was originally called the Dueling Grounds. Um, and as Ron and I conceptualized what the next phase of his expansion would be, was really kind of taking that next step into uh, creating that more of a broader entertainment destination. We're going to increase food and beverage offerings, increase entertainment offerings, more live music, better, um, and just a better experience from a service perspective, from a cleanliness. Overall, just a, a better building and construction. So as, as I think when people start to envision what's going to be here, it's going to be much more exciting, much more fun, much higher energy, uh, and taking into account the great history that the track's always had in this community. Will you talk to me about the potential you saw when you all took over in March? Yeah, so when we, when we decided to acquire the asset and we closed on the transaction in March, you know, the, the, the biggest opportunity we saw was this sits in an ideal location uh, at 30 minutes outside of downtown Nashville, uh, extremely uh, exploding population, getting close to 2 million people uh, in Nashville. We saw, that, hey, this is 300 acres of an opportunity to do not to do much more than racing and historical horse racing. There's opportunities to do much broader things with the real estate we have here, eventually long term. So we, we looked at this as a 10-year project to really encompass how to maximize and, and create a destination here uh, in Franklin, Kentucky. And this is phase one, and it's supposed to be done by the library suite, correct? Yes, this is phase one. Um, the phase one will consist of about 20,000 additional square feet, uh, two to three new restaurant venues, uh, several new bar and entertainment options inside. Uh, we are uh, considering a hotel addition uh, to the facility. Uh, we are in the planning stages of that, which will be on the other side of the building. Uh, and so working hard on that. And we do have some interesting and exciting plans beyond both this current phase one, the ho possible hotel expansion, and there'll be some additional things we're working on in multi-phases over the next couple of years. As far as the restaurants, are you still working on that, like with franchises, or do, do you uh, have we're, we're like still working cuisine on, or anything? We're still working on the, on the restaurants, but I would say, um, it's going to be a, a much broader um, offering than what we have today at Kentucky Downs, where we just have the, the diner and the KD Cafe. We're going to expand. Uh, there'll be options of steak, Italian, uh, and uh, just a more uh, kind of diverse menu of offerings. But no, no final decisions on 
uh, branding or names at this point. And you're also renovating the existing. Yes, as part of the overall project, we are going to renovate the existing building. Um, so it'll it'll pair very well with what our plans are for the expanded facility. Uh, and so it'll work very seamless together in terms of look and feel overall. Well, how is that going to work when um, you're doing the renovation as far as the current operation, which you're not going to really want to disrupt? I yeah, think. so that's a great question. I think the first uh, phase of the expansion is we'll add to the incremental building here. And once that's finished, that'll allow us to gradually work through the renovation of the existing building without having uh, significant disruption. So we'll be able to shift the playing area over to the new area while we renovate the uh, existing facility today. And what about that, that's, that's intended to minimize the disruption. What about non-smoking? Is there going to be more non-smoking? There'll be more. There'll be all those considerations are being taken into account as, as we finalize the layout and final plans from a non-smoking perspective. Perfect. And the 25 million, is that for all the phases together? No, that's just for this phase. Uh, for phase one, which was the 20,000 square feet, the incremental food and beverage offerings and entertainment facility. You all are Vegas guys, have extensive casino ex uh, experience. How are you using that experience, bringing that to Kentucky Downs? Well, you know, listen, I think Ron and I are a unique partnership. Ron's got a tremendous background in racing as well as gaming. I come from a large casino background. And I think a complementary skill sets in terms of development, operations, and expertise in casinos really has allowed us to kind of take what's already been well executed here and put us in a position to be well positioned uh, to see a, a much brighter future and leveraging what we've learned in our casino backgrounds in the Las Vegas marketplace.